Marcus Mariota threw for 344 yards and two touchdowns today. He ran for another. 344 yards, two touchdowns, and a running touchdown. You'd think he had a great game, right? Well, if he played better, he could have thrown for 450. That's how putrid this Eagles defense was today. The Titans didn't even play well either. They were dropping the ball. Marcus Mariota wasn't the most accurate. But the reason why this loss was so disappointing, what's supposed to be the two strongest units on your football team, what's supposed to be the best offensive line in the NFL, what's supposed to be the best defensive line in the NFL, they have not played well the first month of the season. Everybody's trash in the secondary today. But I swear to God, I, I saw more deep drops today than, than at any point last year. Anytime you take a five-step drop, that was a sack last year. The only way you could throw in the Eagles was quick three-step drops, and that was it. And the only way you can get it downfield were the sluggos, which was what the Giants did. But what we're seeing this year I mean, Corey Davis running out and ups today. Guys being able to run downfield. It's because the quarterbacks are getting protected and the defensive line is not getting home. The defensive line has been fine. It's been okay, but it needs to be dominant. Dominant. They need to put quarterbacks on their ass every play. And I'm not seeing it. The only guy who's bringing it every week is Fletcher Cox. Deep penetration. But there ain't no deep penetration from anyone else. I know the Titans have a really good set of tackles. Jack Conklin and Taylor Lewan. But that's not an excuse because of what the Eagles have along the interior. When they can put Michael Bennett inside. You can put Brandon Graham inside. Fletcher Cox is there. And they were just not pressuring Marcus Mariota. And with Corey Davis, basically the only weapon at his disposal, he went off. Because Mariota was getting time to work on Jalen Mills. And there it was. It just, Mar Mills just doesn't have the deep speed on, the, on those deep passes. And these quarterbacks this year, they're getting time, and they're just roasting them. Offensive line. Can't pick up any blitzes. Can't pick up any stunts, any twists, nothing. Blitz pickup from the running backs has been abysmal, too. It's a combination of two things. The O-line obviously needs to play better, but Doug Peterson needs to start running the football. When the Eagles were effective last year, when they were at their most dangerous, they were an even 50-50 ratio football team. Run the football, get that play action, and that's how you get your big chunks down the field. But today, every time they ran play action, Wentz was getting meet with, met with pressure because the Titans weren't fooled. When you only run the ball 22 times in the game and, and throw it 50, who's going to get fooled by play action? And that's how you get the line in a rhythm because the O-line, they've always been kind of average in pass protection, even get, dating back to last year. They were like 16th in terms of sacks allowed. I know they only allowed two in the postseason, but during the season they weren't like the best thing ever. But where the offensive line is dominant, using that word dominant again, Run the goddamn ball. I mean, Small would average like seven yards a carry. Ajayi averaged like 4.8. They're running the ball in overtime at will, whatever they wanted to do. And they're just not running the football right now. Maybe this was the loss that Doug Peterson needed to start running the football again, just like Kansas City last year. Because it happened in Tampa Bay. Eagles got pass happy, and then they, they still didn't run the ball. 
they're still not running football. Got to run it more. That takes pressure off your offensive line and pass protection, and that's going to open up some more play action. I, I don't think the offense is far away because it seemed like Wentz is, is fine. Alshon Jeffrey came back. He had over 100 yards. He looked great today. Carson Wentz, it looks like he's ready to go. Alshon Jeffrey, he's ready to go. This offensive line needs to get wrapped up and get ready to go. The O-line and D-line start playing better. The Eagles are going to start winning some football games. It's as simple as that. 